Crime Watch, a very dangerous and somewhat new drug, is causing police to send a warning to local parents. Police say kids are getting high off a drug called Jankum. WSBT's Kelly Cheatham is here. And Kelly, it isn't here yet, but police think it could be soon. Well, Kirk, they want parents to be on the lookout for the drug. It's made of fermented feces and urine. Police say it's a fad they haven't seen in our area, but they're hearing about it from other law enforcement agencies, and it could come here. It starts as an attempt to get high. It's basically uh, someone taking raw sewage and letting it ferment, and then there's a gas that expels off of that, and they inhale that gas. That gas causes hallucinations. But the typical hallucinogen uh, will uh, give you a sense of euphoria uh, and uh, an heightened sense of your awareness, uh, things around you. That's what, that's what the rush is. Um, but then it's followed by sedation. Even though doctors and police say they haven't seen any local cases of people who have taken Jankum, they say they do see quite a few young adult males at the emergency room who have taken hallucinogens. They say depending on what they've taken, the symptoms can vary. Lowering your blood pressure, lowering your heart rate, um, lowering your respiratory drive uh, so that you stop breathing. Jankum can do all that. And the long-term effects are worse. They include brain damage, stroke-like symptoms, even destroying bone marrow to the point of developing leukemia. All that from getting high off human feces and urine. That's the very question that we have, and it, it, it is. Why, why you would ingest something into your system that's that nasty? You know, you'd have to ask those folks that are doing it. Do something stupid at age 18 and then pay for it the rest of your life. Now, some signs a person might be taking hallucinogens like Jankum if they're acting nervous, if they're jittery, experiencing tremors, or have dilated pupils. A lot of times you can also smell it on their breath since it's something they're breathing in. Boy, it's just amazing somebody would want to do this to themselves. What should parents, Kelly, be doing to keep their kids away from this stuff? Well, police say it's really all about parents having a positive relationship with their kids, knowing where they are, what mm -hmm. they're doing. And it can sound extreme, but they say also don't let your kids go to bed when they come home at night until you've smelled their breath and until you've had a conversation with them. Again, sounds extreme, but it could end up saving a life. Yeah, look for things that are out of the norm. All right. Thank you, Kelly. Mm -hmm.